Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm at Dana Petroleum at the moment, and I'll be talking to Paul Griffin, Managing Director of Dana UK. So, Paul, how does Dana UK fit into Dana PLC? Dana Group consists of um, effectively four business units, which are UK, Netherlands, Norway, and Egypt. Um, now, we have production in the Netherlands, we have production in Norway, a small amount, uh, and then we have operated assets in the Gulf of Suez. Um, with um, production in Egypt as well. But by far the largest part of, of the group is in fact the UK and, and the UK is where Dana um, started life out about 18 years ago. So in, in terms of the Western Isles project, um, can we know a little bit more about it? One of the most important growth things we have on the books at the moment is the Western Isles project. Now, Western Isles is very important to the UK because it is a $1.6 billion project in gross terms. Net to Dana, that is about a billion dollars. Um, the company is around about four billion dollars in total, so you can see that it is a significant spend for a company of our size. And, and in, in general terms, we're looking at spending about a billion dollars every year, year on year, for the next five years to deliver the type of growth which we're talking about. It's a nine well development project. Development drilling should start in the fourth quarter of 2013. Um, and, and that runs its way through to an FPSO being delivered to the UKCS in mid-2015 with a view to production shortly thereafter. Western Isles should deliver about 40,000 barrels a day of production, so around about 30,000 barrels a day net to Dana. Uh, Dana has about 77% of the, of the field at this present time. So Paul, can you tell us a little about uh, the Korean National Oil Corporation's involvement with Dana? We were taken over. Dana was an independent company through 2010. In October 2010, we were bought by the Korean National Oil Company, or KNOC, and, and they are a government-run company um, of the government of South Korea. They are our, effectively our principal shareholder, so, so KNOC own and hold all of the shares within Dana. So we have a, a, a business relationship the same way that any company with a large parent has a reporting relationship. Um, setting and agreeing budgets, government structures for the company. Um, we have um, around about 10 to 15 people, um, KNOC employees who work within Dana, and, th and they are um, through the organisation, um, and they work here on the same basis that, um, that everybody else we have in the organisation does. Now, one of the things we did when KNOC took over Dana is that we, we actually took a conscious decision to split the UK um, business away from what you would consider group functions, so your health and safety for the group, um, HR, communications, legal functions, so all, all of the, the group functions um, which provide the corporate governance. <clears throat> the business unit delivers the day-to-day -day operations, the safe, reliable operations, which are absolutely paramount to a company in, in the oil and gas industry. Um, so the business unit looks after day-to-day -day, um, safe operations, reliable operations, delivering value from the portfolio, um, moving the portfolio around, um, but there is a corporate governance function which sits above that.